officials in Rockland County. There was a great deal of concern out of Rockland County yesterday about the growth of the virus there. There was some suggestion that you were not aware of the situation in Rockland County. Can you give us an update on that? And well, have you spoken to them? I know what's happening in Rockland County and the numbers are in Rockland County. You do too, because we see them every day. On that specific situation with the Muncie community, Dr. Zucker spoke with them. Uh, you want to tell us? Sure, I spoke with the community, explained the need to abide by the six uh, uh, foot distance and also the, the issues of social distance and to stay at home and reiterate all the points that the governor has made over the course of all these press conferences with everyone there. Uh, on a separate Excuse me, Mr. 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 I've spoken to a county executive, Ed Day. Uh, I think that there was a little bit of a disconnect between the locals on the ground understanding the authority that Executive Order 202-11 gave them on the ground. They've got Public Health Law Section 12 and 12B, and they've got uh, the local building code that they can enforce. And there are civil and criminal penalties that are associated with that. Obviously, that's the last case scenario in New York City. They have been issuing tickets. So they do have teeth behind these executive orders, and I'm not sure that they understood the full weight of the force that they have behind them. On a separate suburban court, heard any local officials raise concerns about that here? Uh, so when you say you spoke to the Muncie community, could you tell us what that means? When did you, who did you talk to? Uh, did you talk to rabbis? Did you talk to government officials? Who did I spoke with the rabbis in the community, uh, and there were some government, uh, there were some officials from the county on that call, and conveyed the importance of what what needs to be done to prevent the spread of this virus. And what was the response from the rabbis? Well, I, I, it was just a conversation with them. They heard they heard what the concerns were. They sure did. We worked very closely with uh, the community in Muncie, as you know, and the Orthodox community in Rockland. I get the issue. But look, also, they understand what happened in uh, New Rochelle, the New Rochelle cluster, which is where we had that explosion. One person in a gathering, uh, whatever the gathering, and look, we're coming into uh, Palm Sunday, Easter week, Passover. I had to cancel the St. Patrick's Day parade. Uh, you know, that's uh, a lot of people got offended at that. Uh, but. You can't have large gatherings where you could have one of two people infecting people. And just because it's a religious gathering, you know, the virus is a non-religious enemy. Let's take one more. Governor, the uh, test 